What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm gonna create another action today. Today the, the action we're gonna create is gonna be called frequency separation. What is frequency separation? Well frequency separation is basically separating two layers from the image from the top and the bottom and what that does is um, it clears all the blemishes and little hot spots you want to get rid of on the skin itself without uh, compromising your top layer which is like the textures and the tones and stuff, uh, the texture and the pores and stuff like that. So then when you apply this frequency separation, what it does is it, it clears up all, like I said, it clears up all the blemishes and hot spots while leaving the texture and, and everything intact so the skin looks more natural. Okay. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's okay because I'm going to teach you how to create this action so you can just pop it up anytime you want to use it. And then, um, I'm gonna show you an example of how to how it how to apply it, and then uh, you can go from there. But uh, the one I'm gonna teach you right now is gonna be for the 8-bit version. So on your computer, where you when you go to mode, you have 8 or 16-bit. Majority of the time, people only use 8-bit anyways. So I'm gonna create this 8-bit uh, version of frequency separation for you guys. I will create a 16-bit version as well. Uh, you can find that in the other video if you want to use 16 bit and then go that route that's cool too but today on this video i'm going to teach you how to create the 8 bit version and then i'm going to show you how to use it and then uh it's going to be a game changer if you're into portrait photography this is one of the main arsenals you're going to need to uh compose your image and make it look uh nice and beautiful so first we're going to start off with creating this okay so what we have to do is we have to go to this actions panel this actions panel here now if you can't find it or anywhere this little play button just go to windows look for actions right here click on that and it's going to pop up this little icon here this is where your action all your actions are okay i have some pre-made already so i'm not gonna use it i'm just going to show you how to make a new one so to create this action what we're going to do is we're going to go like i said to the actions panel go to this hamburger icon here and then we're going to Create new action. Okay, we're gonna call this action. Uh, let's go FS eight bit. Short for frequency separation eight bit. Okay, and then once you push record, it's gonna start recording your action. So we're gonna go ahead and start this right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push record, and to create this action, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this background layer, and we're gonna we're gonna create two duplicate layers. So you can do that to do that on your Windows uh, keyboard. Just go Control J push that twice you're going to create two of them first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename these so we'll go all this low frequency let's not get lazy and then for this one we'll call it high frequency okay so how we start this we're going to shut off the top layer first we're going to go to the bottom layer and we're going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to find out the blur uh, radius we want so when you move it around you're going to see it's going to get really blurry or if you move it really close it's going to get really sharp you want it at the point where it's kind of blurry enough where you just lose the texture 5.2 looks good so we're going to leave it here and we're going to push ok next thing we do we're going to turn on the top layer click on that go to image then we're going to apply image okay in this apply image here we're going to have it at layers we're going to click on low frequency layer we're going to keep it at rgb blending we're going to change it to subtract okay you're going to get this grayish tone you can still see the face and stuff like that once you see that you're good make sure your scale is at two and your offset is at 128 once you get that good just push okay and you'll be good to go okay now once you get this high frequency and it looks like this what you want to do on the top high frequency you want to go to the normal panel okay and you're going to want to change it to linear light okay so what that does now as you see it's going to turn it back to its normal picture okay after we're done all this we're almost done so what we're going to do is we're going to group these two together so this is highlighted on high. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the bottom one too. So we go control, hold down control and click it. So these two are highlighted. Right click. And then just 
group it. Wait so you group from layers. You can do that way. Okay. And then you're gonna group that and then you're gonna rename this. Frequency separation separation eight bit. Okay. Once you do that, you're good to go. You're gonna click on this and you're gonna open it. You're gonna go up go to your low frequency. You're gonna wanna change your brush to Usually you'll, you'll be at your standard brush, but what you want to do is you want to get on your mixer brush and just make sure your load, mix, flow, they're all at 15%. That's what I like to keep it at. I keep my wetness at 1% and my... This one has changed to 1%. Okay. Even the flow, let's change the flow down to 5%. Until you get used to it, then you can kind of adjust to however, however you want it or how fast you want it to come out. And you make sure that this, oops, make sure you go back to the brush. Sorry about that. Go back to the brush. Make sure you're on the mixer brush. Make sure this is clicked off so it's transparent. That's my point is just to try to make sure this is tra transparent. To make sure this is transparent, just click on this here. Okay. Once you've done that, you're good to go and everything's all set. One more thing is now before you start recording, you, you can see that when you create your um, actions, it's gonna show you everything you did. You wanna go to Gaussian Blur and you wanna check this box. I'll tell you why in a second, okay? So once you've done that, we're gonna push stop. Your action's done, okay? So then you're gonna see this action is created. It's I think it's, it's in my default, so right there. FS8 bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this. And then we're gonna go to frequency separation 8 bit and we're gonna push play. Once we push play, it should create the action for you. See the reason why I click this box is so then you can change your blur. Because what happens with every other with every image or camera, the blur radius is going to be different. So when you click that box, when I showed you prior, it's going to give you the option to change the blur here. So we had this at uh, five point six, which is good. Which okay, okay. Now we're good to go. Now make sure you're on the mixer brush. Everything is good. Uh, your flow and what you're going to do. Is you're going to start. Brushing over the skin. And then you'll notice skin still changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to up the flow to 15%. If I'm a little more experienced. And then we're going to go. Now you see. You can see that the texture is starting to come together. But you don't want to go too heavy on this. You, watch, you just want to be subtle with it. You see the hot spots? Getting rid of the hot spots, okay? And you just want to slowly just get rid of the blemishes here. And fix everything all up so it looks good. So now if you look at it, if you go to frequency separation and you close the folder, if you look at it, if I turn it on, Turn it off, you can see the big difference there. Now, if you think this is too much, all you gotta do, make sure make sure you're not on low frequency or high frequency. Make sure you're in the, the group box when you change the opacity. Once you change the opacity, I like to usually bring it down to around 70%, and then it won't be so harsh, or it won't be too much. Depending on how much you want, you can go 50, 60, 70, you know? This is before, and then, this is after. So that's what frequency separation is, guys. So you can see what it's doing to the skin here. It's just kind of putting everything together. And like I said, the pores and everything are still there. So that's what you want. Frequency separation on, off, on, off, on. Now this, this is going to get pretty addictive once you start getting used to this. So 
try not to go too much on it you know less is less is more sometimes you know you just want to put enough just so it's nice and clean that's all you want all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i just like to do little quick tutorials and show you how to create these actions like i said here i'm going to delete this it's going to go away again once you save that action it's going to be in your actions panel so you just look for it click on it all you got to do is push play once you push play it's going to create that it's going to open up the action for you again the brush different different say this was a different picture and the blur was different so i had to up it i can up it to whatever i want once that's done click ok it's going to bring everything back make sure you're on low frequency when you're when you start brushing make sure you're on the mixer brush make sure your wetness is one everything else is 15. like i said if, it's, if the flow is too heavy for you at first bring the flow down to maybe about seven eight percent and then just work your way up and then that's it that's all if you like this give it a like comment if you like tell me anything else you would like to learn and i can kind of maybe put out these videos for you i hope this helped and uh i'll see you guys on the next one frequency separation guys you need this if you're doing portrait photography this is what you need perfect have a good day and happy editing I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye now.